so friends we have learned about aws and dashboard and uh, its interface various services and now we are going to learn about aws command line interface uh, the command line interface for amazon web services is very useful when you like to when you would like to run remote commands uh, for our your scaling up projects when you uh, have less number of projects less files with you you can directly configure or upload or perform various operations rightly from the dashboard when when but when number of resources and files increase drastically to hundreds or thousands you may need to manage simply using cli command and interface that uh, works remotely from your pure personal computer pc you can automate various processes using uh, various commands so here we are going to learn how we can install aws cli and work remotely uh, the steps involved for this process is we need to first install aws cli then we need to create user in amazon identity and access management then we need to configure aws cli using credentials for iam so let's go to first step download and install aws cli move to your search engine just type uh, download aws cli the first or second link move to first or second link here we can download uh, aws cli for windows 64 bit or 32 bit or for mac and linux but uh, for mac and linux we need uh, python uh, and pip to be pre-installed they installed uh, these two tools and uh, then you can install aws cli so i am a windows user and my computer is 64 bit so I would like to click here uh, as I have already downloaded and installed this uh, yeah, I would not go with it uh, you could download it and it is a simple process not very difficult when it is installed just just hit the next 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 button and agree uh, it will be installed very simply just move to command prompt or terminal in Linux and just simply type AWS. When it is installed, things may look like this AWS help and other commands that can be run here. So, this was simple. There is no separate uh, command line interface for AWS. It gets embedded on your op operating system's command line utility or Linux shell. It is simple. Next, uh, we will we'll learn to create a IAM create user and uh, install uh, configure the credentials. Let's log into your AWS account and move to the dashboard. We have logged in. Move to the service panel and from service. Move to security, identity, and compliance category and hit the IAM button. Here we can create, uh, this is a dashboard for identity and access management. Here we can manage everything. Just move to users on the left hand side of your dashboard. Uh, we need to hit uh, the add user button and create a new user. Just provide a name for the user. For example, HS dash AWS could do better for me. Uh, provide access type programmatic access as we need to work on various API, CLI, and SDK. Let's uh, create a group. Uh, we need to create a group and provide the permission for your resource for example if you are creating this account for lambda you could uh, provide the permission for lambda just write uh, lambda and uh, select the particular role that you would need for this thing you can also select multiple options 
I would uh, select uh, AWS Lambda full access for right now and provide a group name. If you don't provide, it will show error. Just provide a name. I would provide a similar name as a user. You will provide anything. Uh, create the group. The group is being created. It is here. You can see attach policy and full details by moving to this link. So this is the permissions, the Amazon resource name, ARN and other services for various AWS services like cloud formation and other thing. You can see here attach entity. Entities, policy versions, access advisors, and other things. Uh, next, we need to, you can copy permissions from here and change, but I don't need to write, do this right here. Uh, move towards downwards of the page and hit the next button, review. Hit the create but user button. The user will be created. So this is the user. This is the access key ID and secret access key. We would need these thing. You need to keep this secret. Uh, for configuration, it is important. I will later delete this thing so you could not use it. Just move to your command line interface and provide write the AWS command to check whether it is working or not. It is working. Let me do some adjustment. Just type AWS config for configuration. So this may show various options for which you can use for config. But for configuration, we need to type configuration, not config. So I did a mistake. can move above and read various statements that are printed. Now we need to uh, type AWS space configuration, configure, sorry, AWS configure. It would ask you access key ID. This is the access key ID. Copy it from here. Enter. Provide the secret access key. It is unique per IAM user. Choose the default region. As I have no region selected, you can check it from your dashboard right here. Just move to above uh, under task bar. And here you can see global. IAM does not require any region to be selected. So just type none, N O N E. Uh, and it is okay. Your AWS command line is configured. If you want to reconfigure it, you can configure it later. 